We have a medical emergency on the east side of the building. A frantic call on the radio. You knew that it wasn't the average bring a wheelchair and get down here. I remember um, kicking my shoes off and just running barefoot through the halls as fast as I could to get outside and um, we saw the student laying on the ground. Ashley was on the ground unconscious. They had already started CPR and her color was blue. It scares me to think that I, I should have died that day and I wasn't, I had all odds against me. I mean, they lost me twice that day. What seemed to be a rather good day turned into a nightmare for Ashley Palmer. I really don't remember much about the day at all. I remember getting piston tickets to go to the game that night, but I haven't really remembered much. She collapsed outside the high school on her way to the bus. She wasn't responding to anything that we did, and um, by that point, with all the commotion on the radio, and you know, we're calling 911, and then we find out that she has a heart condition, but we didn't know what it was. It's called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and it's basically where the muscles in my heart are enlarged, and it just makes my heart race. It just seemed like it happened so fast that she was not breathing anymore, and we noticed her skin started turning blue. And so immediately, um, Mrs. Steinkraus and I looked at each other, and we said, CPR. And um, she just started doing compressions, and we were breathing, and, and it was total teamwork. And, but it seemed like everything that we did wasn't working. We couldn't revive her. I just remember seeing the look of death on Ashley. I, I, I knew she was gone. She, in, to me, in my mind, she was gone. We had lost her. And I'll never, ever get that look out of my mind. Ever. Although death seemed inevitable, there was one last hope. And then immediately we said, we need the AED. I ran to the old athletic director's office and grabbed it off the wall and then ran through the hallways to the um, other side of the building. Like an angel with light behind her was Miss Ailing says with the AD, she goes, do you need this? And I said, yes, we need this. And um, didn't have to run, just you know, threw it down on the ground, got it open, you know, hooked it up as fast as we could and, and shocked. We continued with um, the shock and uh, it did, it was successful. It brought Ashley um, back into breathing mode. She, she came back. Her heart started beating again. You know, so we're very, very thankful. You know, we just continued to monitor her and waited for the ambulance to get there. Absolutely, it was a miracle. Um, we're people. We don't control life and death like that. Um, God's hand was on it right from the beginning and uh, gave us the clear minds to do what we had to do. She looks awesome. There's nothing wrong with her. You know, God answered our prayers when we prayed, you know, don't let there be any brain damage, just let there be complete healing in her body, and, and he did that. You know, there's, she looks fabulous. Aubrey Hoffman, DTV News.